Welcome back everybody to another GB Studio video. My name is Robert Doman and today we're going to be looking at GB Studio 3.2. Now I think this will be a quick video because there are only a couple things that majorly need talking about and that is the fact that they've introduced slopes into platform scenes so the games can be a bit more like Sonic and a bit less like the original Mario where you're bumping into into the blocks like in Minecraft for example. Uh, and more like uh, free-flowing movement over the uh, backgrounds. And the second thing is tile priority. So the idea that you can put the background tiles in front of actors. And I'll show you how that looks in a minute. But first of all, I want to remind you, you can get my physical homebrew game cartridge, Take It Racing 2, uh, in your hands by going to robertderman.co.uk. If you haven't played it before, there's a demo you can play on itch.io. And I definitely recommend you check that out. So back into GB Studio, we have our character. This is from the template uh, scene that we get given in GB Studio. And I've made a very simple background so you can see that we have two types of slopes. We have this uh, incline here, and then we have a steeper one here. Uh, and then we can also see that we can go behind this tile. So if I show you what this, this scene looks like in GB Studio, but also in a uh, image editing software, so here in GIMP, you can see that I've turned on the grid so we can see each 8x8 eight eight tile. Uh, and we can see that the first slope goes up two across and then one up, two across, one up, two across, one up. And this, then the second slope goes one up, one up, one up, one up, one up. So this is an exactly one to one uh, slope and this is a two to one slope. Uh, so that's the kind of. Um, that's the only two slopes that we're working with in this new thing at GB Studio. And you can see I have this black bar on the background, which I then set in GB Studio to go behind. So looking in GB Studio, we can have, uh, we can click on the collision icon over here and we can go and click on slopes. And now, as you can see, we can draw two types of slopes. Uh, one that's on the scale 1, 1 and one that's on the scale 2, 1. Uh, and then using these, we can construct a nice variety of um, gentle slopes. And to get this uh, bar back here, or any artwork that you want, uh, any tiles you want being put in front of the player, you have to go into color mode. So if you didn't know, you turn it on by clicking here and it automatically turns on. And then you can click this exclamation mark in a, in a, in a diamond here, and it says tile priority. And then you're then painting on the tile priority. So if I remove it, you can see it gets rid of it. And then here we go. So if I did that with a different piece, for example, this bit of sky here, this piece of sky would be displayed over the player. So I'm sure you can come up with some awesome ideas of how you might implement this in your own games. So I wanna quickly talk about how this new update affects the Platformer Plus plugin that I showed you in the last video. And as you can see, you have the same test scene, but in, this, uh, in the uh, sample project or the demo project of the Platformer Plus plugin, and unfortunately it doesn't work. You have to disable the certain plugins, the camera. And then even when that happens, you cannot use the slopes. So if you look in the comments of this uh, platformer plus plugin, uh, the creator has said that they will um, update it as soon as they can to be compatible with uh, this new version of GB Studio. So unfortunately we can't have slopes and wall jumping right now in GB Studio, but I'm sure it's just around the corner, okay? So let's have a look at the full change log that they've, uh, they've got for 3.2. Uh, the ability to choose timer context in timer events, allowing up to four timers to be used per scene. I'm not exactly sure how um, we were limited on timers before. So I have to do some research on this uh, specifically. If you have any experience with it, please leave it down in the comments below. Add event if current scene. Uh, so this is great for if you have a, um, a custom script or you're gonna be calling a script into multiple scenes. You can have an if current scene to make sure you're doing it in the correct scene. Add ability to set background tile priority for color games using priority tool in colorize section. So this puts the tiles, the background tiles above the player sprite, which is fantastic. Added support for UGE version six music editor. That's fantastic. Uh, sub pattern editor added to instrument editor. I haven't seen this yet. Let's see if we can quickly check this out. So we'll definitely have to experiment with this new sub pattern uh, thing here, but we can definitely uh, see that we can uh, possibly program the instruments or the notes when the notes are played to do something specific. I imagine this works perfectly for the, for the magic wand tool down here, which is like the special um, notes, the routines, I think. Um, so yeah, we'll definitely have to play around with that. 
add warning when trying to reuse background from a logo scene, which basically means that we're, we're letting us know that we cannot use uh, a logo scene in a normal scene type, otherwise we'll have issues. Uh, add descriptive readme files to asset folders in new projects. This is perfect for brand new players to understand what they're actually looking at in the folders. Adding a slope brush when drawing collisions, which is exactly what I've already shown you. Add magic brush when painting tiles and drawing collisions, updating all tiles matching the one clicked. I haven't, I don't think I've ever needed to do this, but I guess it's the idea that you could change a platform into a solid, uh, or change all platforms into solid collision. Uh, add support for slopes to platform scenes. That means you can now run up them. Um, add ability to make analog pocket builds using CLI tool. I don't know what this is, so you guys have to check that out if that interests you. Uh, add warning when using engine plugins built on older versions of GB Studio, which I did experience when I uh, opened up the 3.2 with in the Platformer Plus plugin. And then in the changed bit here, they have some uh, language updates and some other little fixes. So yeah, check it out. Definitely have a play around with this new slope feature. I definitely uh, think it inspires me to be a bit more creative with my level design, knowing that I don't have to have jumps for every single incline of um, of elevation change in the in the scene. I think it will allow for some very creative things. So if you are going to be migrating your game from GB Studio 3.1 to 3.2, remember to make a copy of all your uh, files and your game, zip it up somewhere safe and then you can go forward into 3.2 and if there's any issues you can always go back and open up that zipped one that you kept safe okay so uh, just be aware that um, we have had issues in the past of um, projects being lost and with that i'll put my patrons up on screen thank you so much you guys you guys are absolute best remember to like the video if you like the video subscribe if you haven't already have you played around with the new gb studio 3.2 features yet um are you annoyed that the plugin, the Platformer Plus plugin isn't compatible with it right now? Uh, are you going to wait until it is? Because uh, that wall jumping and, and everything is extremely fun. So it's a bit of a shame that we can't have both. I think once those uh, like wall jumping and um, having slopes are connected, I do feel like we have an unbeatable uh, game engine here. So yeah, let me know what you think in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.